Hi everyone, welcome to the second lecture of this Python course. Now that you've learned what Python is and why it's such a powerful and beginner friendly language, it's time to set up your development environment. In this lecture, we're going to install everything you need to start coding in Python and we're doing it step by step right here on Windows. To write and run Python programs, we need two things. First, we need to install the Python interpreter. This is what actually runs your code line by line. Without it, your computer won't understand what Python code means. Second, we'll install a tool called PyCharm. PyCharm is an IDE, short for Integrated Development Environment. It's like your workspace for writing Python code, where you can write, edit, run, and test your programs all in one place. It comes with useful features like syntax highlighting, code suggestions, error checking, and one-click run options and we'll be using the community edition which is completely free and perfect for this course. By the end of this video, you'll have everything installed and configured and you'll be fully ready to write your first Python program in the next lecture. Make sure you follow along with me on your own computer. I'll explain everything in a clear and beginner friendly way. No fast skipping, no confusion. Let's begin the installation process and set up your Python environment on Windows. Let's head over to the Chrome browser over here and in a new tab, just type download python, hit enter and go ahead and click on the first link that is download python. This will head over to the official website of python. Next, go to the download section over here and here you can see the python 3.13.5. This is the latest version of python as of now. So go ahead and click on this python and it will download the exe file for python. So here I am installing the python in windows. If you are using Mac, you can go ahead and select Mac over here. Okay. Now the exe file is downloaded for Python. So just click on it and look at here Python setup screen is visible. Now you have two options install now and customize installation. Before that, make sure that you tick mark these two options. The first option gives the admin privileges. Second will add the Python exe part to the environment variable path. Next click on the customize installation over here. And here keep all these options selected as it is because we are going to use these you know features next click on the next and here we have advanced options if you want to install the python for all the users you can select this option over here and here you can see the customize install location so if you want to change the location you can click on the browse and you can select the location but here i want to keep the default location as it is next click on the install button and here you will get a pop-up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just click on S. And look at here, the setup progress. It is installing. So just wait a couple of seconds to complete the installation. And look at here, setup was successful. Next, go ahead and click on close button. Alright, now we have successfully installed the Python. Next, in order to verify that, just open the command prompt. So go to the search and just type CMD and open the command prompt over here and just maximize it. And here just type python hyphen hyphen version and hit enter and there we go. You can see the python version 3.13.5. So this is the python that we have installed. Alright, so let me show you the python installation directory. So go to the file system, go to this PC, go to the C drive. Go to the program files and here just search for python this is the python 313 just open the folder and you can see so this is the python installation directory and while installing python exe file we have selected add path so the path is added to the you know environment path variable for example we can also verify that so go to the search just search for environment variables and here just click on the environment variables over here and go to the system variables and just select the path click on edit and here just search for the python and there we go you can see while installing python we have selected the option to add this path to the environment variable that's why it is automatically added if you want to add python installation directory to the path you can just click on new and you can just copy the python installation directory and here just paste it okay Perfect. So I have already added. So let me ignore this. So this is how you can add the Python installation directory to the environment variable. Now we have successfully installed Python. 
Next, let us go ahead and install PyCharm IDE to develop the Python programs. So again, go to the Chrome browser over here. In a new tab, just type PyCharm download and hit enter. And go ahead and click on this jetbrains.com link over here. This will head over to the download PyCharm page. So PyCharm comes in two editions, paid version and free version. So this is the paid version. And just scroll down and you can see PyCharm Community Edition. This is the free version. And in this course, we are going to use the PyCharm Community Edition, which is absolutely free. Okay. Next, here click on download. And again, look at here. This is for Windows. Okay. And look at here. The PyCharm exe file is downloading. Just wait a couple of seconds. And you can see it is 632 MB. It is a bit large file. So it will take a couple of seconds. And look at here, the exe file is successfully downloaded. Just click on the exe file. And here it will ask, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Just click on yes. And here is a welcome to PyCharm community edition setup. Click on the next. And here you can choose the destination folder. So I'm going to keep this default location as it is. If you want to change, you can go ahead and click, the, click on the browse button and you can browse the location. And look at here, space required 2.2 GB, space available 25 GB. So make sure that 2.2 GB is available in your system. Next, click on next. And here, create desktop shortcut. So if you want to create the shortcut in your desktop, you can tick mark this. And also if you want to add the bin folder to the path, you can tick mark this and also add open folder as a project so also tick mark this and then click on next and click on install so before that if you want to change the start menu folder name different you can give different name over here so i'm going to keep this name as it is because this id belongs to jetbrains click on install so installation begin just wait a couple of seconds to complete the installation Alright, look at here completing PyCharm Community Edition setup. Your computer must be restarted in order to complete the installation of PyCharm Community Edition. Do you want to reboot now? So if you want to reboot now, you can select this. If you want to reboot manually later, you can keep this selected as it is. So I'm going to reboot later. So I'm going to keep this selected as it is and then click on finish. That's it. Now we have successfully installed PyCharm. In next lecture, we'll create our first Python project and first Python program in PyCharm IDE. Alright, great. I will see you in the next video.